Hello little cuties and welcome back to my channel Fixin' the Hillbilly. Today we are making another 4th of July ring. This is going to be out of deco mesh and ribbon. Super easy and very beginner friendly. Now my name's Melinda and I'm from the hills of West Virginia. So let's get started. Now first, we're going to start off by cutting this deco mesh in about 17 inches. This pad that I have is about uh, 16 inches, but I went a little half inch over, you know, in the beginning and about a half inch over in the end. So anywhere from 16 to 17 inches uh, is what you're going to make this. Now, keep in mind I'm going to cut 18 17 inch strips because we're gonna do two on the bottom and one on the top like I normally do for my ruffle wreath. Now, if you wanna see a full tutorial on the ruffle wreath and how I make it, I will have that video listed below. Now we're gonna be starting with this silver wreath. Um, this is nothing fancy, I still got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, that's just the color that they had and I just picked it up for something different. So you start by rolling the ends of your 17 inch mesh. The reason being that's gonna cover a lot of your fray. Then you're gonna walk it up the middle and then you're gonna fold the other end up. Now, I'm gonna attach these 18 strips. I'm gonna attach them with a zip tie because I don't have multiple layers until I get to uh, the crossbars. So these are just gonna be done with zip ties. It makes it go a lot faster. You're gonna hook this to A and B. You know I always go from the outside to the inside, A, B, C, and D. So you're gonna have, in each section, you're gonna have two on A and B, one at each end, and then you're gonna have one on C and D. Now even after getting all this done, you're still gonna be, it's still gonna look a little week you know it's not going to look too full but i promise you once you get the ribbons on those crossbars everything's going to come together and it's going to fill it all in and you're not going to be able to see the wreath frame in the back so roll up the end walk up the middle and then roll up the other end and then just attach it to also usually i do a b a, B, and then I go one on CD in each section. So we're just gonna attach that. And we're gonna do this all the way around our wreath. That's it, you don't even really have to start fluffing right now. I usually uh, do the zip ties and I go ahead and clip those off just to keep those zip ties out of my way and I don't want to forget it because if it was uh, going to be for me it'd be one thing but this is for my daughter so I want everything to look perfect when I give it to her so I don't want to forget any of those so I go ahead and clip those as I go now as you see I went all the way around doing two on A and B row and one on C and D and this, I mean, it looks fairly full, but you can still see spots. But you're not gonna see those once you do the ones on your frame. So once again, two on A and B, one on C and D, and that's gonna fill everything in. Now this is where I'm gonna use my pipe cleaners. Some people call them Chanel stems. That's also correct if that's what you call them. I call them pipe cleaners because to me that's what they look like. So what I'm going to do is go on one side of the crossbar and then the other side of the crossbar. I'm just going to give this a couple twists. You can just move this apart. Don't worry about seeing it. You can fluff it all back out later. Once you start getting your ribbons in there, you're going to be fine. Now just give it a couple twists real tight down towards the base and that's it. Then you're going to go to the next crossbar and do the same thing. You're going to go on one side of the crossbar. Looks like I couldn't make up my mind. And then on the other side of the crossbar. And it doesn't matter which ones you put them through. Just 
just so one's on one side and one's on the other because that's going to give it a little bit um, it's not going to be so loose moving back and forth so it's going to be a little bit more secure that way all right now as you can see I went ahead and went around and everything is sticking to me and I, I got to clean because I just I don't know how not to clean all the time it gives me something to do now these are 10 inch pieces you're only going to need six blue and six white now i was going to roll these up and then all of a sudden i changed my mind so what you're going to do these are cut 10 inches 10 by 10 you're going to grab one corner that's not how we're doing it now okay so we're going to grab one corner and then we're going to grab the other corner and then we're just going to kind of fold it up then we're just going to crisscross them now the reason i decided to do this i wanted hers a little bit different than mine and I thought that that kind of looked like maybe like Starburst when, you know, the fireworks go off. It's just a little bit over the top. So I thought, let's just do something a little bit different to kind of make it look like Starburst. Instead of just roll them and rolling them up round. Actually, I wish I would have done mine like this. But, you know, you don't get the idea until later. Now, every other one is only going to have two ribbons. I'm gonna put some little signs on that. It's gonna say USA. And that USA sign I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree and I cut it all apart. So as you see, I did not undo that pipe cleaner. And I've, I've said this before, I don't know why they do that, but um, I mean, I wish somebody would tell me if you know why they do that, uh, list in the comments below because I don't know if there's a difference. I can't see a difference, but maybe it's something, you know, in the end look. I don't know. So I don't undo it. I just go ahead and put the ribbons on there and then twist around a couple times and then we're good. And then once again, I'm going to pull that at the very ends. Just grab two ends. It doesn't matter which two you grab. And then just fold it all together. You can fold it anyway, just so it looks like that when you're done. And any way you fold it, it's still going to look like that when you're done. See, here I am just gathering it in the middle. But pull those two ends, and it'll make those pigs for you. Then I'm going to go in again. As you see, didn't undo it. Not about all that. And then twist it around just a couple times nothing major now in this particular one and as you see here I think I did undo this one but this is after I did it because it wasn't even and I was trying to pull that out a little bit because I do want those even because it's if you have an extra piece that's just sticking out it's not going to look right okay now in this one every other one you're going to have three because the signs aren't going on these and the reason i did this is because i didn't have enough of the flag uh, ribbon left but i wanted to incorporate it in the wreath because i just thought it made it look real pretty okay so what i did was i crisscrossed it put one in the middle and then just laid it down and twisted it around that's it okay now while i finish going around the wreath uh, I'm going to go ahead and play y'all some music. I'm going to try to find some different music. Um, this is the music that I have to play due to copyright. Um, so this I pay for. Uh, but I am going to go on there and try to find some different music to download to my wreaths. Um, now someone asked me the other day, do I listen to this while I'm making my wreaths? No, I do not. I usually listen to my playlist. You'll see I'll have playlists on my channel. Uh, once for Christian music, I'll listen to that one a lot. I listen to country music and then I have one called Melly Mel and it's just um, it's just uh, probably 90s or some of it's new um, uh, love songs things like that you know I just listen to different stuff but I do have those playlists on my channel for you all right I'll be back shortly the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times 
I do without you 
wished we would find the time Dreaming for eternity Creating perfect memories, yeah We hoped we were gonna make it Little did I know that time would take us to a place Here's our end result and I really like the colors of the red white and blue it's just my favorite but honestly my favorite favorite season to decorate for is fall so why don't you list in the comments below what's your favorite season and what you like to make for those seasons all right I want to thank y'all for being here and watching my video we really appreciate that now remember you were born to do great things so stay strong in the Lord, never give up hope, and always take time to pray. It's so important. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.